<laughs> Dude, you, you had quote of the night. You said, my man can diagnose pussy and outshoot you. Dude. <laughs> that, was, that was fucking classic. That was that, and that was you had it for most of the night with what'd you say I'm fucking captain of the galaxy? <laughs> no, so <laughs> Galaxy Super Champ. Galaxy Super Champ. Right. Galaxy Super Champ segued into well, you know, I don't know if I was gonna be a fucking cop or a milkman, but <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm so sorry I missed the shit. Oh, it was it was a good it was a good time. Oh, damn it. Those are good. They, they, those guys seem like good dudes, man. Obviously, I've read their posts and shit, but it's always interesting to uh, you know see a guy's inflection and what he stresses. And you you don't get that in the written word sometimes, so it's, yeah, it was good. Dude, I, sure I will on, say, man. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Yeah, uh, I'm just a big fan of full-on gamers, like especially the less like egotistical they are when they know that they're like working with A types. Like you know, hey, I'm coming in to teach you whatever. Well. Fucking know your audience and and kind of slow your roll and do whatever. Uh, and the guys that do that uh, keep coming back. You know, yeah. yeah. They keep com- they keep fucking coming back because they figured out how to fucking slow that roll and not be a fucking. It's all about me, dickhead. You can't be an it's all about me, dickhead around fucking. Type A fucking headhunters like yourself, Bill. Like, if you roll up in Bill's fucking neighborhood and you're fucked up, dude, mm. Bill Blowers is going to eat your shit. I, I, always, am. I always like I'm to say, uh, well, I, you know, what the fuck, you're a cop, I burned you down. Like, That's cool, dude. We will, let's shoot the stage and then let's put the guns down and have a fucking fist fight and see what's up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I was I was really glad that those three dudes could make it. Obviously, I'm glad that you guys could make it. But those three guys, so I, you know, I don't know how it is. I I just fucking meet people. You know, you're I just meet people. And Clay lives. You know, I'm up in Northern Virginia. Clay's in uh, both Clay and Jim are in Fredericksburg. We met through a local uh, modern American shooters forum, which is basically Mid Atlantic, even though it's getting bigger. Good dudes on there. And I met those guys through that, and they've always been super super helpful. Uh, Jim is super fucking didactic, smart dude, you know, and always been willing to help. Um, former Marines, you know, they do, I don't know what the fuck they do, man. They're, they, I get lost in all the stuff. They did some anti <laughs> I get fucking. lost in what the Marines do as well, but anyway. <laughs> well, they're not Marines anymore, but the, the stuff, the, the DOD stuff that they do, it's training, but... I don't, I, I don't know. I, I lose it every time, but they're super awesome guys. They don't fucking bullshit, you know. And then Tim Heron, man. Tim Heron's only had a gun in his hand for five years. He's a fucking grandmaster, and he's and he's making a bid for, you know, single stack uh, national champ. He is the nicest goddamn guy on the face of the earth, man. I fucking called Clay up, right, because I, I don't know. I posted one of my videos, and when he joined PNS Firearms Competition, I didn't actually didn't post it there. I posted it somewhere else. And he's like, "Hey, here's some suggestions here, there, and there." And I'm like, um, "Thanks, dude. Are you really this fucking nice, right?" And Clay was like, "Yeah, man. He's a really nice midget." So I'm like, "All right, cool." And so you know, he's a great resource. You guys being on there put the validity to get the guys who just don't want to put their balls on the line in a competition um, was was phenomenal. So I, I got a lot of pings during that thing, opening up a lot of people's eyes that are going to want to do it. So, Dude, seriously, show up with the Dick's white sporting bag and, like, <laughs> you know, like walk over to the, whatever they call it, the fucking Safe zone. Chief, chief, chief of the fucking, you know, firing order and, <laughs> like, you know... Pay homage to the master and just hang your fucking bag off his cart and sort yourself out. Dude, that, that's how you do it, man. That That's how you handle competitions. Just, like, roll up in there like, fine, dude. I, you know, like Viking shit. Like, I don't even know what the fuck you guys are doing. Whatever. Right. That's right. hey, does this gun meet fucking regs? Um, yeah, okay. Kind, yep, kind of. Yeah, and kinda. uh and just fucking shoot your shit, man. That's shoot it. your duty shit against their shit. And then don't like don't be so type A that your butt hurt that they burn you down. Yeah. Like 
come on now. That's you're playing their gig on the yeah. first fucking run. You're not going to be number one. I'm sorry, dude. Like, you're SWAT fucking Master Ninja <laughs> level nine. Like, dude, you just stepped into their fucking world, and you've got goddamn Remington white box and a fucking trash bag. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. You're going to win. Right. That's you right. Know. Fucking which way's down range? Which way's down range? <laughs> and what are the and don't shoot the dude with the hands. Yeah, dude, like seriously, man. Just like you just gotta let it go. You, know, you, know, you gotta let it go. So oh, 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 my first match I went to, man. I'm you know I'm reading. Oh, okay, fuck. I'm gonna go. My my youngest son is you know he wants to shoot IDPA. So I'm like, hey, fuck. All right, we'll go check it out. So I'm reading through this shit. You know what's required and whatever the fuck. And so it says, uh, you know, the IDPA is big on having the cops come out so you can shoot in your duty gear and blah, 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 blah. Right? So, oh, fuck, I'm good. I'll, I'll shoot my duty gear. So I, I go out there with my fucking <laughs> my SWAT war belt. I got <laughs> fucking flashbangs hanging off me and shit. <laughs> down. Uh, it looked like a, fucking, uh, like, a, like a goat rope going on, man. But the the funny thing is, you know, dudes were like, oh, is this your first time shooting? I'm like, yeah, you know, fucking in the, in the, at, the, in, at this local club, they stamp your fucking scorecard, right? New shooter, clang on your... <laughs> <laughs> and so you shoot every stage last, right? You're walking with this big fucking purple stamp on your shit, new shooter. I got this goofy fucking war belt on with fucking, you know, flashbangs and fucking tomahawks and shit hanging off me. And, and dudes are, hey, man, you know, you just, you know, do this, do that. I'm like, whatever, man. You know, I'm just going to, I'm going to shoot this thing accurately, whatever the fuck with the time. I don't know the rules for dick. And uh, so a couple of stages into this, though, um, it was interesting to watch the change. And the dudes that were uh, that were going to mentor me uh, through how to shoot a gun, you know what I'm saying? Because of the new shooter stamp and my goofy gear. Um, and as soon as I started fucking, I guess as soon as I showed, hey man, I can I can run a gun halfway decent. I'm no, I'm no slut for this shit. It was just a change in attitude and and the whole bit went from being you know like fatherly mentoring guy to all right, what the fuck, right? What, what what's your story kind of thing? It was interesting. But the that's hanging, cool. Hanging the bag on the dude's baby, on the big guy's baby stroller is fucking funny. That's fucking classic, <laughs> dude. That's awesome, man. You know, uh, so a guy down here, actually, Roland, I think you know him, Chris Clifton. He's a sergeant in Charlotte PD. I love competing with that guy because he, he, you know, he's he's his own side enthusiast. He doesn't come on as, you know, the law enforcement guy. He just, and he always has a new gun and stuff like that. He just goes out there and has fun. And sure as shit, man, that guy is always fucking hitting the no shoot. Always, <laughs> all fucking way. right, and it's like it's it, it ain't no thing because you know what the dude was an unindicted co-conspirator. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh yeah, it is. So the first time you actually did it, he hit one, and it was on a pretty easy speed stage, right? And I was like, "Fuck, dude, that that target was like." three feet away from you, right? He's like, ah, oh, whatever, fuck him, he's done. So then I go, and I'm going, I'm trying to go as fast as I can, and I come around a corner, and there's two, there's a, uh, it's basically two targets with a no shoot in the middle, two on each, and I come around, and you can come into it, and I go boom, boom, and I just go a little too fast, put off the trigger, and I put one barely on the no shoot, and the next thing I hear is, bah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> fucking rolling on the ground laughing. You had a no shoot, you dumb motherfucker. I'm like, can I finish my stage first before you mock me? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Dude, um, uh, I will tell you that Micklick probably has single-handedly done more for me as a shooter than any of the other guys. Now, I will tell you that, that prior to getting Micklick, I will tell you that Voight was absolutely like Better than Barnhart, better than Latham, like Voight was the shit. Um, Jerry just, Jerry shattered my glass ceilings. Like, mm -hmm. that's as fast as I thought I could shoot until I shot with Jerry. But Jerry shit is like no bullshit high round count. Uh, you know, so we've got mm -hmm. ammo on on 10 round strip clips, you know. And so we we shot from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then we, like, took a break for something. I had already had to switch upper receivers because my upper receiver got too hot. And I looked down and I counted the stripper clips, and I had 50 10-round stripper clips on the ground by 10 a.m. with fucking Jerry. 
Like, he was not fucking around. It was all about the repetitions. But, like, by the end of it, we were doing, like, standing Ipsic A-zone hits at 100 for time go. Like, beep! How fast can you get your rifle up and hit an A-zone standing at 100 fucking meters? Like, like, <laughs> dude, Jerry didn't fuck around, bro. <laughs> like, Jerry did not fuck around. Um, dude, you I know, see... he, he talked about some, like, crazy shit, you know, because we'd ask him. We'd be like, hey, man, uh, you know, what about the revolver, blah, blah, blah. And he's talking, like, putting Vaseline on his fucking gun. Oh, I've heard like, that. Like, I don't know why, you're, well, why you'd want your gun more slippery, but, you know, whatever. That, that was fucking Jerry's shit, and it was at that point that you were like, all right, Check out, turn off the recorder. Uh, Jerry has now gone into full gamer mode. I'm not going to fucking walk around with Vaseline fucking rubbed on my pistol. Yeah. But I, I, I've heard him say he likes to do that because sometimes the grip isn't perfect, so it allows him to slide uh, up and do a perfect during the shooting. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, dude, like, like that's varsity level fucking football, bro. Yeah. And I'm just sitting back, taking it all in, like, yep, yeah, Roger that. We'll shoot a thousand rounds today through my rifles. I don't give a fuck. And just, you know, jamming mags as fast as I can get off the line. And when the gun's too hot to hold, I just fucking pop uppers and fucking run another upper. Because he ain't going to stop. It's fucking high drive all the time. Let's fucking do this. So I got to ask, yeah. man. Have, what, his fucking, and this is going to sound gay as shit, but his fucking grip strength to fucking run open with a revolver at Steel Challenge against guys with regular fucking 1911 single action, and that dude is giving them a run for their fucking money. His fucking finger and grip must be unbelievable, man. Dude, is um... It- did, did you, were you not on the night that I talked about Jerry having I'm, the surgery? Oh, I must not have been. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, dude. So I, in high school, I fucking dated the Louisiana under-18 female Ipsic champion. Like, I fucking, she was my girl, you know, and she was running this fucking comped uh, 38 suit fucking, you know, cult, whatever the fuck. And she was talking about Jerry Micklick. So, bro, it's 1980 fucking nine, and she's talking about Jerry Micklick. Uh, yeah, Jerry was my fucking personal instructor. He was fucking good to go. He's fucking awesome. So I don't know who the fuck this Jerry Micklick guy is. Dude, he had already had surgery on his forearms in fucking 1989. <sighs> Uh, for recoil management tendon issues. So that that guy, tw- uh, twenty yeah, however many years ago, six, seven, twenty twenty six or seven years ago, Jerry Micklick had already been surgically repaired for fucking shooting firearms. So when people so when people look at Jerry's shit on YouTube and they're like. How the fuck? Dude, he made a lifestyle. Like, my man my man outround count everyone. Yeah, he doesn't have his 10,000 hours. He's got his 30,000 hours. In. Yeah, dude, so. he is fucking rock star. As so, I, go ahead, sorry, bro. No, 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 you good, buddy. Uh, so, yeah, I was going to ask if... Uh, um, so, I've been to Vogel's class three times, and uh, he brings those Captain of Crush fucking uh, grip strength trainers... And he has, he's got the whole fucking series, right? So he passes them around and just, hey, here's a number one, here's a number 1.520 and shit like that. Uh, and I, I think it's the 2.0. Uh, but, like, three dudes on the planet can close that motherfucker and touch it. And, uh, and Vogel, can, he can fucking crush that bastard. And, dude, I can barely get that thing halfway. And, and he's, I mean, his forearms ain't fucking huge. He's not a big guy. Uh, but he right. just works that fucking grip strength like nobody's business, and he can just smash shit. And his fucking hand is literally shaped like a goddamn Glock pistol. I mean, it's always, you know, the fucking squared off back end, back up in the block. <laughs> just he's standing there, and, and, and he's always fucking touching his gun. And I was like, dude, you know, what the fuck, man? 
And he goes, I have never, he goes, I cannot remember the last time I went more than two days without touching my guns and either dry firing, you know, stepping out his back door, he's got a range out the back of the house. Um, but fuck, dude, if you want to be at that level, that's the, that's the level of commitment that's required as well. So, Yep, that's where it's at. Uh, I also have Captain's of Crush in the truck. Yeah. And when it's windshield time, I am fucking working it. Uh, now that I'm getting older, I start to get, you know, tennis elbow fucking bullshit when I, like, double down on it. So I can't be, like, a fucking faggot for <laughs> four months and then decide, oh, yeah, I'm one month out from fucking Bill Blower's course. I need to double down on the Captain's of Crush because if I do, I'm going to get fucking tenonized. Yeah, like, the too. same shit that fucking... You know, uh, goddamn uh, uh, revolver boy got thirty years ago. Yeah. So um, you know, I I just have to be more pragmatic about my situation. So you know, when I show up, I'm throwing out what I got, and I ain't trying to perpetrate a fraud any other direction other than yep, this is what I got. <laughs> 